today we are at Aintree Hospital A&E department and we're going to be chatting to some of the staff to find out what it's like to work over the Christmas period at A&E. I'm joined here by Libby Wilson, consultant at Aintree University Hospital Accident and Emergency Department. Libby, how busy is it here at A&E over Christmas compared to other times of the year? I think it is as busy over Christmas, in fact it feels a lot busier. Um, although there are extra beds available over Christmas time because people are very keen to go home so we do manage to get people home from the wards, we can't stop them coming in. Um, and it is a bit of a silly season so people will get into accidents, um, overindulge food wise, alcohol wise um, and need our services. Uh, for accidents and for illnesses so it is really quite busy at Christmas time and it's certainly not the day to turn up thinking you won't have a wait because unfortunately we, we still see the same number of patients on Christmas Day than we would any other day of the year really. So I'm joined here by Jed Barker who's one of the volunteers at Aintree A&E. Jed, tell us a bit about what you do and actually why do you volunteer here? Well, what we do, we actually get patients cups of tea, sandwiches, biscuits, sit and chat with them if they want, you know, and then um, basically try to make their journey through the a and &E as comfortable as we can. Yeah, as well. and why do you do it? Um, it's very, very satisfying. Right. I, I enjoy doing it, enjoy working with the patients, enjoy being with people. Uh, so I find the whole thing very satisfying to do it, yeah. I'm joined here by Kevin O'Leary, who is one of the porters at Aintree A&E. It's very, very busy, um, yeah. particularly in the, well, not just Christmas, but in the winter season, with all the potential hazards that represents to, to patients, particularly elderly patients. They have a lot of patients coming in, um, and basically you're there to, to help them. It's keep, keeping at the forefront of your mind that you're there to, to, there to do a job, but you're not the only one that's under pressure. Yeah, the doctors are under pressure, the nurses are under pressure. So it's, it's, it, 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 it'll be hosed me to say I, I'm under pressure because every, everybody is. So that was really fascinating actually, learning about how the department, the A&E department here at Aintree copes with the pressure of Christmas. Some amazing people work here and honestly it is an amazing team. If you want to find out more and listen to the full podcast, check out our website where you can listen now.